Hey guys, it's Will here and I'm back with another Conversion Corner. Um, tonight, as you can see, I've got a Dark Eldar model here. So this is my conversion for Drazar Master of Blades. And this model has kind of come out of necessity with the Star of Faith edition. So previously with my Dark Eldar army that I did for Tale of Four Gamers last year, um, or earlier this year in fact, um, I only had a single HQ choice, my Archon. And that was all well and good back in 7th Ed because a lot of HQs were overpriced and didn't really uh, weren't really that important, so you just had the one to fill your force organisation slot. Now, with the new battalion detachment and, and wanting to make the most of those command points, you really need at least two HQs, and generally they are more cost efficient anyway. So uh, yeah, I needed to add a second HQ to my Dark Eldar. And uh, for that I chose this guy here, Drazar. Um, there are some other options in there, the, um, um, the Homunculus, but he's only really good if you're taking Coven units for him to support. And a Succubus is only really good if you're taking a lot of Witch Cult units. So uh, this guy was the, uh, was the easy go-to, well not the easy go-to, but the, the most beneficial go-to, because his buff relates primarily to Incubi, which I already have a unit of eight of in my army, and he'll ride nicely in there in a Venom um, with the Incubi. Now the conversion itself um, is surprisingly simple, but it's basically just podged together out of my bits box. I didn't actually have a sort of a base model to start from. So uh, starting, um, I don't want to bring these guys in first. So these are my incubi, um, well, some of my incubi. Um, and if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that they're a conversion as well, obviously, because uh, the standard incubi models are fine cast, and Drazar's very much in the same situation. Uh, being a fine cast model, and I just don't like working with the stuff. I don't think it gives good results. So I've converted these guys using Dark Elf, Executioner, and Cabalite Warrior bits. And so I wanted Drazar to fit in with that unit, um, kind of fit the same theme, but also stand out and be something different. So started out um, with the legs. These are actually from the uh, the Raider, where you get the um, the crew hanging off the side of the raider. That's where those uh, those legs come from, which is why they've got this kind of crouching position, um, which I think is quite cool for his kind of um, way of working, very kind of athletic sort of combat that you get from Dark Eldar. But um, didn't want him to be crouching down and look smaller than the rest of the unit, so I've mounted him on a bit of uh, spare machinery. This is actually from a Vindicator. Um, if you want to uh, have the front of the Vindicator without the um, the dozer blade, you leave this bit off and a few other bits. So yeah, that's from that, and that just gives him about an extra centimetre of height, so he doesn't sort of look dwarfed by the guys he's meant to be commanding. Then the torso is the first big difference from the Cabalites I've done, uh, the Incubi I've done previously. This is actually from a Dark Elf Cold One Knight. Um, I never throw anything away, and I had a box of Dark Elf Cold One Knights from when I did my Salamander Bikers, who are riding cold ones, and so it's one of the torsos from there, and that already starts to set him apart from the other guys who have Executioner torsos. Um, also doesn't have the cape, uh, which I just think looks closer to how, how Drazar should be. He's not a character who's been overly concerned with ornamentation, he's just good at killing, and a cape would just get in the way if you're trying to kill someone. Um, then the head is the same base head as I used on the Incubi, it's the Dark Elf Executioner, um, but then the horns are from the Executioner kit, but they're not actually meant to be horns, they're, um, I don't actually you know what the component's meant to be, I think it goes on the back, but I've used the similar thing on the um, the Clavex from my Incubi, um, I've just mounted them pointing down because the actual Drazar model has some down pointing horns so I think it uh, it fits and suits nicely. Bits on the back are Dark Eldar bits from my bits box, just these two um, little trophy rack type things, two of them because again the Drazar model is shown with two and it helps him stand out. And then finally the weapons, so I think a Kabbalite arms I've got on there 
um, but then the two different swords to represent um, the demi-claves that he's meant to be meant to be wielding but I've gone for two two different swords because I think that looked cool this one is from the Dark Elf Cold One Riders kit and then this one is from the I think it's the Executioner's Sergeant the Dark Elf Executioner's um, and I thought they both looked suitably um, you know dark elf diary because they're, they're dark elf but uh, were different from the ones i've got on the rest of my incubi squad again setting him apart um and then i just basically used the same color scheme as i used for my for my incubi i think the reds come out really nice that's um mephiston red washed with um oh not devlin mud agrax earthshade and then re-highlighted up with um uh, Mephiston Red and then Edge Highlighted with um, Evil Sun Scarlet. So uh, yeah, that is my Drizal Lord of Blades. Hoping to get him out on the table sometime soon, give my Dark Eldar their first run out in this edition. Um, probably be a couple of weeks because there's, you know, still a lot I want to do in my Salamanders and I've got the Tale of Four Gamers. You may have possibly noticed the Redemptor Dreadnought in the background. But yeah, look forward to him debuting on the channel soon. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you're interested in how I did the um, the rest of the Incubi, I'll try and remember to put a link in the description below to the video I did on them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.